I'll just do another one, please. Um, wait a minute. Let me get the this next one is not as interesting, but I do need to give some listening because we haven't done enough. This is called effective business meetings, and um, Could you click it and then stop, please, Wendy? Now, there's one, two, three, four, five questions. Um, mm -hmm. Just let me pick somebody. We've got start. Martin. Eric, can you do number one, Eric? So that's what's this lady's name? Eric, do, do, do the first two questions. So what's this lady's name? And where is Advantage Training Systems located? Uh, if you can't get them, Eric, don't worry because they're Western names and you may not know them. Okay, uh, David, can you do the third question? It says, "What is the first thing she suggests you should have for a meeting?" Okay. Um, oh, okay. Yes, Tim. Can you do number four? She makes three suggestions as about effective meetings. So see if you can get one, two, or three of them, okay? And then Elisa. Can you do the last one? Yes. It says, uh, what's the final point she makes right at the end, okay? Okay. All right, you can start that playing when you want, Wendy. Okay. So, Eric, what's the lady's name? Glorine Go Kimbo. That's right. And do you know where this place is, Le Vantage Training Systems? Is it Florida? That's in the USA, in a place called a town called St. Petersburg. All right, David. What's the first thing she suggests you should have for a meeting? Um, make sure for client in the. That's right, an agenda. An that, that's agenda. Good. Yeah, yeah. A schedule or timetable, all the same thing. So in other words, make sure you know what you're going to discuss in the meeting and when. Okay? Uh, Tim, what are the three suggestions you make? Uh, sorry, it was so fast, I didn't have many. None of them? All right, well, we'll read them out so there. What the agenda is, how much yep. time it will take, let 
there will be time on the schedule for questions and answers. That's right. And Elisa, what's the final point you make? Um, you need to know what the mean one meeting about. Like the Why do you uh, think that's important? Yeah. So why is it important, yeah. Elisa? It's um it's effective effective way to know what yeah. a meeting always about. That's right. So you've got to know what it was about, otherwise it was a waste of time. Mm -hmm. Same reason that we have to have a schedule for questions and answers. If you don't answer them, you don't know the answers. All right, um, now I'm going to put... Do. Okay, have you checked their tongue? If their parents <laughs> have, you know, asked them to offer to do that operation, and if they did, do they speak better English? They certainly do. I've got two in the class because we. I used this. Um, I I showed them this uh, video last week. And there's a there's 17 Koreans in the class that I showed it to. And out of 17, um, three had had the operation. And the tongue. And I think, yes. So three out of 17 had had the tongue operation. And two said they'd had the eyelids done. And I can tell you that these ones, they're speaking. In one case, is very good. In fact, excellent. The other two were so-so. So the, the, the two with the eyelids. No, so what? It, okay. it makes no difference. Okay. And the two with the eyelids, uh, they they need all the surgery they can they can get. They need all the surgery they can get. Okay. <laughs> they they are. Um, <laughs> Um, they are very average. But if that can, <laughs> okay, but if it can help boost their confidence, that you oh know, yeah, yeah. My, um, if it, okay, yeah, if it yeah, if it gives them more confidence, them more confidence um, that may be very good. That may be very good. Okay. They say if you smile, you look pretty. Yeah, or prettier. I agree to that. Okay. Can we do a poll, Nicholas? Can we what? ask our yes. how many of yes. ask how many of our students would like a, an would like a, an operation if that can make them look better? All right, you want an operation to make you pretty? Yeah. We're not ask our we're not students. saying what operation, just any operation. Yeah, nose. Yes. Eyes. You'd have it chin, to whatever. No. Oops. So eyes, chin. <laughs> Boobs, whatever. <laughs> Boobs are females, not males. <laughs> All right, so one or two. <laughs> Come on, Bob, Martin, Pano, give me an opinion. Eric, opinion. Claire, Karina, Johnny, get an opinion. Carlos, Jocelyn, Elisa, we got one. All right. Sean, how did you get there? All right, Carl. Just waiting for the poll results to appear. Here we are. That's quite interesting. Remember, one was yes and two was no. So most fifty, well, half of you roughly, 
don't want surgery. About a quarter do, and a quarter of you are undecided. Perhaps when you get old, you want surgery. So, Johnny, you think you're pretty already? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. As long as you're happy, that's the main thing. <laughs> All right. Can we have a break for a few minutes, Pearl, and then the final few minutes? Yeah, sure. Okay, sure. Okay.
Hello, Cindy. Lynn. Cindy Lynn. Hello. You like candy? Yes. <laughs> All right. What sort of candy do you like? Chocolate. Japanese. Chocolate. 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 Oh, chocolate. All right. So, which one of these would you choose? Oh. Do you know any? Yeah, M and M's. They're very popular in Australia. They're covered in chocolate. Um, there's the we don't. There's not. Oh, the Mars bars are very popular in Australia. There's no Mars bar here. Uh, I know Twix. I know Snickers. I don't like Snickers. Milky Way. Um, don't know some of the others. They must be American. Snickers. Yes. Okay. Now, why is candy associated with Halloween, Cindy Lynn? So why 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 are candy and Halloween go together? For the children. Yes, that's right. So I think it's probably to do with children. Do you have do you celebrate Halloween in Taiwan? Seldom. So, well, Cindy Lynn, when you were a little girl, did you dress up as a witch? Uh, I, I, I want. Oh. Which is Emmy? So the, the defining aspects of a witch are a hat, pointed hat, and a big nose with a wart on her nose. So she doesn't really look like you, Cindy Lynn. You've got to, you know, you're not green, you don't have a hat, and you haven't got a wart on your nose. That's good. No. All right. Now, next one. Let's do it. This is for, um, I'll just make you go away, Cindy. Ray. Just a minute. Oh. Hello. Just a minute. Ray, what are these things on the screen? What? Yes, what? Yes, what? Oh. Pumpkin. Yes, pumpkins. Now, why do you think pumpkins have been chosen? As a symbol of uh, Halloween. Uh, I forget it. Um, Easy to call and make into nasty looking faces. Yeah, that's right. Nobody yeah. knows why, but you know, the Americans did this. They they put a candle inside, and uh, they're very easy to scrape out and put into things. Okay, now, um, Alan. Hello. Now, what do you call these things? What do you call these things? Uh, bed. 
Right, a bat. Right. Um, what sort of house is this? There's a word that goes with Halloween. It's a H something house. What is it? What does haunted house mean? What's haunted? There are some ghosts in the house. Yeah, there's ghosts in the house. Yeah, Do you yeah. believe in ghosts? Yeah, believe in ghosts. Mm. Yes. Hmm. Where do they come from? Where do Another world. Yeah, another world. Okay. Um, what are spirits? Spirits. Spirits. Mm. No. All right. Well, how are they different? I think mm, eh? maybe they are the same, but they're mm, yes. <laughs> well, I don't know. Religious people talk about spirits and. Uh, other people talk about ghosts. Now, Ivy. Hello, teacher. Hello, Ivy. Ivy, um, we talk about phases of the moon. That that means a, something. How you describe a, a moon? So, if the moon was like that, we call it a a crescent. If you could see half the moon, it would be called a half moon. What do we call this moon? So, what phase of the moon is this? Full moon. That's right, a full moon. Now, um, what is an eclipse? The Earth's shadow covers the moon, so we can see the moon. Very, very good. So that's an eclipse, and it's where the shadow of the Earth, I think if you have your sun, uh, you have the. M oh, we're getting this right. The sun, yeah, the moon and the earth, and so we we can see the sun round the shadow of the moon, something like that. Or the moon is casting a shadow over the sun, so that's an eclipse. Okay. Um, have you? Is it safe to look at an eclipse? Ivy, is it safe to look at an eclipse? Uh, yes. Only with glasses. Only with special sunglasses, because otherwise you go blind. It burns your eyes. You have to be careful. So they say be very careful when you look at an eclipse, if you ever do. Okay. Uh, Jocelyn. Hello. Hello, jo hello, Jocelyn. Can you read this to me and tell you what it means? Mm. 
So the U.S. government. Mm. Not allow. This word is called portrait. Not leave portrait. Living persons on stamps. Right Not now, allow. first of all. What's a portrait? Portrait. Mm. Photographs. Pictures. Yeah. Just yeah. A portrait is your is a picture of your head, head and face. So this is a portrait. Okay. Okay. Now, do do you probably do you know who this is? No. All right. She's called Audrey Hepburn. She was a very famous uh, film star in the 20th century. She's dead now. She died a few years ago. Now, is this is this a stamp or not? Oh, actually, why why is her portrait on this stamp? So this is a U.S. postage stamp. Why is her portrait on this stamp? Well, it says the U.S. government will not allow portraits of living person. So why is her why is her picture on the stamp? So Jocelyn yeah. Is this a good? Would you like your picture because on a stamp in the U.S.? No. Because? She. She is dead. That's right. So you don't want your picture on a stamp because it means you're dead. Mm. And at the moment, and at the moment, you're still alive, so you don't want to die yet. Okay. Thank you, Jocelyn. All right, Joanne. All right. Yes. Do you have a cat? Do you have a cat? No. Do you like cats? Do you like cats? Yes, I love them. Oh, well, that's good. All right, tell me about Egyptian cats. Tell me about Egyptian cats. Um, Ancient Egyptians, what did they do when their cats died? Make them into mummies. They did make them into mummies, correct. But what else did they do? Shave of their eyebrows to... That's right. So do you think that's a good idea? Do you think that's a good idea? Um, I don't think so. No. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. It says here, why was the Egyptian boy confused? The answer was because he was told his daddy was a mummy. I see you understand this. <laughs> What's a mummy? What's a mummy? Um, mummy. <laughs> Mom. Um, what, um, your question is what? Yeah, what's a mummy? Um, the dead people. Yeah, and what have they done to them? What have they done to them? They, they grabbed them. 
by. Yep. Stop. Yeah, they wrap them up. <laughs> That's right. They take out all their organs. So they remove all their their heart and lungs and bowel, and they wrap them up with special bandages to preserve their body over many centuries. In the, these, some of these mummies are five thousand years old, so they've been dead a long time. So, quite interesting. Would you like to be mummified? If you were dead, would you like to be mummified, Joanne? No. No, I wouldn't either. I don't think she'd be very nice. What about if your cat was with you? No. Thank you, Thank you Joanne. Now, the last question today is going to Tony. Tony there? Mm -hmm. Hi Tony. Tony, mm -hmm. um tell me what, what, what is this thing? What is this thing? Uh speak to create clean teeth. <laughs> yeah. Got a toothpick. Oh, what what's it what is it normally used for? What is it for? For cleaning teeth. <laughs> That's right. So for picking food out of your teeth. Now what is the problem with it? According to this, what's the problem? Me. What's the problem with toothpicks? It, it will make people ch choke on <laughs> choke. That's what what's what's choke? What does that mean? Uh, breath hardly. Yeah, so they get it stuck in the throat, and they it can kill them. These sharp ends, they 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 you know, you touch right. You you cough to death and you can die, so it's not a good thing. And a lot of Chinese do this because they like picking their teeth in China with toothpicks. We don't use them much in Australia. We use dental floss. Um, do you know what that is? Dental floss. Do you use it in Taiwan? Yes. Mm. It's they they say in a, they say you're supposed to floss your teeth at least once per day. I don't know how many times you have to pick them per day. Anyway. All right, thank you, Tony. Vicky? Yes? How are you? Did you en have you enjoyed today? Yes, have fun. Good. <laughs> thank you, Vicky. All right, that's all now. Uh, anything else, Pearl? Nicholas. Yes. You didn't ask Amy any question today. You have to think of a question for her. Um. Yes. Uh. You did. Uh, you did ask me some question, but I didn't answer it. Oh, you naughty girl. Who Who are we talking about? Who are we talking about? Amy. 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 I'm Amy. Oh, Amy. Didn't. Oh, Amy. All right. Yeah. And you have asked me about the uh, economic doldrums. Oh, that's right. Sorry, oh, tell me about right. the economic yeah. doldrums then. Uh, it means, what it means it? Uh, depression in economy. Yeah, that's right. The doldrums, <laughs> there's no wind. So really, economic depression. Yes, that's right. Sorry, Amy, I forgot all about you. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> that's right. So yeah, the doldrums, are. The, it literally means there's no waves in the sea because there's no wind and so if you talk about any economic doldrums, economic depression. Nicholas, um, it occurred to me, did we say someone is going to perform a dance in this class sometime? Uh, 
it, yes, it was, was, it it was uh, Lulu, wasn't it? Was it Amy? Yeah, I remember. I said someone is going Coco, to perform the Lulu. dance someday. Who is going to do that? Amy, right? Coco and Lulu. Okay, next time. We'll give them a week, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. That'd be good. Or we're going to start presentations sometime. Yeah, I think uh, they don't want to do it that early, so probably into December. Okay, that's yeah. fine. Okay. Good night. So we'll, okay, good we'll night. call it today. Okay. All right. Good afternoon. Good night. Bye bye, Good night. Good night. It's noon here. <laughs> okay. <laughs>